What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, new videos coming every week. You don't wanna miss them. Also, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I put out every week. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should not become a doctor. Becoming a doctor is a very long road as you, you guys probably already know. You have to do four years of college, four years in medical school, and anywhere between three and seven years of residency, depending on your specialty. Specialties like pediatrics, internal medicine, some EM programs are three years long, and then you have programs that are five years long, like orthopedic surgery, some general surgery programs, and then neurosurgery, seven to eight years. So um, it's a extremely long road, and I come across students who are doing it, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. So, I made another video in the past about reasons why you should not become a doctor, but I just wanted to reiterate kind of those things that I think are important if you're thinking about becoming a doctor, but you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Number one, if you're doing it for the money, you should not become a doctor. I hear students all the time or they contact me and, sit, and the first thing that they, they ask is how much does this specialty make or how much would I make as soon as I graduate for, from, from school. I think that's important to keep in mind, especially if you're on this path um, because of the return on investment to becoming a doctor, but you should not become a doctor because you think you're going to get rich. It just doesn't happen anymore. Back in the day when doctors used to make a lot more money, um, you know, and they do they did fairly well. But these days, surgeons have to do more surgeries, they have to see more patients, they have to do more procedures, more non-medical kind of ancillary income type uh, activities just to make the same amount of money they did when they were kind of younger, first starting off in their career. So. If you're going into medicine for the money, it's the wrong thing to do. Even though you will make a good living depending on your specialty, but if that's your sole purpose of becoming a doctor, I say do not become a doctor. Number two is I would not become a doctor if your parents make you become a doctor. In med school, I had lots of my classmates who mom was a doctor, dad was a doctor, sister was a doctor, brother was a doctor, uncle, uh, aunt was a doctor. So it was pretty, it was almost expected that they would become a doctor as well. So, and I kind of overheard some conversations about maybe um, I didn't want to do this and maybe my parents kind of made me. So you have to be 100% sure that this is something that you want to do. You don't want to go into medicine in this long path and stand up all night studying and once you become a resident, you're up all night working on call uh, just because your parents make you. You have to decide that yourself. Um, and that's the decision you just have to make. So my second one is do not become a doctor if your parents make you. My third is do not become a doctor if you think you're going to have a cush lifestyle. And even though, um, you know, once you complete all of your training, let's say 13, 14 years of schooling, um, you may get a cush job, but in reality, being a doctor is a full-time job. It requires lots of training to become a doctor, as we talked about. It's very high stress levels. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about the suicide rate in physicians, and also the um, the, the, the work-life balance. Doctors kind of tire out over time especially specialties like uh, anesthesia, emergency medicine, general surgery. Um, so I wouldn't become a doctor if you think, oh, I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to have this cush lifestyle. That's not the reality. And before I embarked on this path, I had this vision of how I perceived doctors to be. I thought maybe they had all this money and they just lived this fabulous lifestyle. That's not correct. Uh, and maybe it will get better once I get done with my training, but my hours are crazy. Um, work a lot of hours, uh, study, and my off, and those remaining hours that I'm off. So I've been in school for, 
can't even add the number of years yet, but let's see, four years of college, four years of medical school, so that's eight, and then I'm in my fifth year of residency training. I'm on my 13th year of training, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a long road, so don't go into medicine if you think you're going to, if you're going into it for the, the money, if you think you're doing it because of your parents that they made you and also if you think that you will have a cush lifestyle you may have a pretty decent lifestyle after you get done but you have bills to pay you have loans to pay back you have overhead for your business so lots of other things kind of pulling you in different directions you have insurance companies that you're fighting in terms of trying to get reimbursed and trying to get patients diagnostic imaging or DME, which is equipment approved, um, paperwork. So there's a lot of downsides of being a doctor. And a lot of people don't talk about those downsides. They always talk about the glamorous and they paint this picture of the white picket fence and the doctor who makes a lot of money and doesn't really work a lot. But um, those are some reasons why I don't think you should become a doctor. Otherwise, medicine is a great path. It's very gratifying. It's uh, very fulfilling. I enjoy it, even though it's a lot of work. It's very exhausting. It's very stressful at times. Lots of responsibilities, but it's worth it in the end. You just have to take it day by day, and um, if it's something that you want to do, you really have to want it, and you really have to uh, never give up on your dreams. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.